Here we have CS300 assignment number four from DigiPen Institute of Technology. Um, this was probably my absolute favorite assignment that we did in this class. Um, I have to talk kind of fast because there's a lot to cover here. So what we have right now is we have a skybox, which is this environment background here. And uh, we have cube mapping, which are these cubes down here. And reflection and refraction on this object. Right now it's just only doing a uh, reflection. And so I'm going to talk briefly about each one of these. The skybox is this background here. And what it is, is it's supposed to represent objects that are very, very far away. So as you can see, as I get closer and further from this, this cube gets bigger and smaller, but the background stays the same. So uh, you'd represent clouds and mountains and stuff like this. Um, it just is a box that follows the camera around. Then cube mapping is taking the camera and we put it at the center of this object here and face it away with a field of view of 90 degrees save that image, uh, render from there, save that image to a texture map, and then map that onto a quad on these screens here, so you can see the images go around here. Then we have reflection on this main uh, object, which um, you can see the objects going around in the background here. We can change that to refraction, and so now it's kind of like looking through a magnifying glass. Uh, the values that we used are actually water and air, so you're looking through a sphere of water at the object and then if you get real close here you can see that it's reflecting these tiny objects here and here you can barely see them but then you also have refraction there um, we also have lighting so you can see right now it's uh, being lit and please note that this object the reflecting one also has a te texture map of the earth so that's why that's there but you have lighting and you can still see the reflection thank you that's all